Drug addicts are being drawn from the city to the meadows to order their drugs from a series of phone boxes, and once one is closed down another is open for business. Neighborhood Inspector James Walker, who manages policing in the Meadows, said it's the story of the phone boxes when describing the problems currently blighting his patch. The Meadows has previously been an area which attracted gang syndicates, gun crime, and postcode rivalries with areas like St. Anne's and Radford. But this year it was deemed one of the safest places to live in the city with 1,677 recorded incidents between March 2018 and February 2019. Inspi Walker said while well, violence in the meadows was starting to wane, drug dealing had become a huge problem, and it can be linked to phone boxes. He said the issues stem back to April 2018 when the area was rocked by five stabbings. One of the things we found was there was a lack of evidence to prosecute but we knew who these offenders were, he added. We saw the overlap of these offenses and drugs. What can we do to restrict their behavior? Some of these offenders had been involved in drugs so we targeted them for drugs. Read more, we did that, and it was successful. They also took out the addict's main drug line. Back then, a BT phone box in the Bridgeway Shopping Center was the busiest in the county, being used to make a staggering 3,000 calls a year. They were coming into the Bridgeway Center, shoplifting, selling the items, buying the drugs and then doing it there, he said. The phone box at the Bridgeway Center in the Meadows, Nottingham. Image, Joseph Rayner, Nottingham Post Police worked with BT to have the phone box removed and the drug dealing and violence started to calm down. Problems are always evolving, he said. What we have found now is that violence has dissipated but we still have the drugs. Problems then began to form around the toll bridge and red phone box, close to the tram line at Meadows Embankment. People were ordering their drugs from the phone box and then using the drugs under the bridge. The payphone inside was removed this August. The Meadows phone box has been linked to antisocial behavior. Image, Nottingham Post, picture it, it has now moved to phone boxes in Launder Street and Risley Drive. They are even using the grounds of Our Lady and St. Patrick in the Meadows Church to shoot up. Needles have also been found at Gridley Muse, where an old pub used to stand, but the land now remains derelict. I can only assume they don't have mobile phones or don't want to be linked evidentially to ringing the number. BT have an obligation to provide telephones. They have already removed two. Honestly, I don't know if they will remove the others but we are working hard to have them removed. We are getting reports of needles being left around in the antisocial behavior that comes from drug use. There is far less violence but I am not happy we have got that other problem. Our Lady and St. Patrick Church in the Meadows has a problem with needles being left around the building. Priest Wilfred Perepaden with a box of needles he has collected. Image, Ian Hodgkinson. Picture it, Operation Baxter has been launched to tackle those peddling drugs on the Meadows estate, with a number of warrants carried out at addresses. A number of arrests have been made, and drugs such as heroin, cocaine and cannabis have been seized. At one point we were told the drugs in the meadows were cheaper but it does feel more drug dealers gravitate towards the meadows. But it is difficult to say whether the meadows has a problem that is more significant than anywhere else. It is close to the city and it has good transport links. Inspector James Walker pictured outside St. Anne's Police Station in St. Anne's, Nottingham. Image, Nottingham.